Hello and welcome to a living in Portugal video. I'll explain how my water system works. I do not have mains water supply, so everything, all my water comes from a borehole in the ground. Was uh, the borehole was established in uh, 1993? It's 75 meters deep, and this is where the the pump lives down there, so the pipe goes 75 meters deep. With the cables and the wiring and the rope. From there, it's it's a bit wild at the moment, but there's a tap here with two with a few options. Can either that tap that ensures that the tank is filled, or if there's a reason with the main tank, you can open this tap here and that is a, a bypass as a manual mode. So the blue one fills the tank, the pipe runs underneath this wooden bridge, goes up here, the roof tile is just to protect the pipe and goes there and it fills inside there. And how is it controlled? Well, inside the tank there is a float float level so it's all automatic the float level if the float goes down it uh, makes a circuit and that at activates the pump in the ground once the float level goes up it breaks the circuit and then the pump shuts off and the outlet for the tank is over here it can be switched off should something should you need to work on the pump so it goes underneath the stones there comes out into here this goes into the pump and through the pump there's a pressure switch and the pressure switch in after the pressure switch if a tap opens somewhere and the pressure is released the pump goes on and that is how the water supply outside works also Upstairs in the attic I have another tank with a float level, so that's a little bit different, but we'll stick to outside first. So this is the pressure switch. We can restart it, we can turn the pump manually on and off by the switch on the pump. So the water comes out through here, over up there, and it splits off up here. It goes over there into the old chicken coops, the animal area. It goes down to a tap there as well as that is the supply pipe to the tank in my attic. The pipe that goes down, there's another tap there so the outside circuit can be closed off. It goes via a pipe here. Here it goes down into the ground and into the bathroom area for the garage as well as the sink area. And this is the little wash area, bathroom and the pipe goes around here underneath the roses there's an outside tap over here as soon as you switch it on, this is an example, instantly have water, the pump is starting to run, that will run until it builds up pressure and then it switches off again. And now it's off, so then the pump, the other pipe goes into the ground, from there, goes underneath the road. And we have another tap over here. This supplies water to the vegetable garden. From there the pipe goes on. And around to here we got around the corner on the left there's another tap. And right at the end there's another outside tap. So for a time that I've lived here I haven't had any water shortages. I do collect rain water from the roof for the plants. Mm. 
right? And then in the garage right here next to the door, this is the water pump controller. This controls the pump in the ground. So it's on, currently on the A or for automatic and M is manual, so for the manual bypass. If the pump is running, the light turns on. So when I purchased the property, the actual water system was a mess. They had a big concrete tank that, that didn't work. They used more gra gravity feed than the pump system, so it took a few months to sort everything out. And plumbers were a nightmare to get them, and once the plumber came, they charged us 500 euros for just a little bit of work. So here's the pipe. There's the pipe that goes down to the worst base in here. The other pipe goes all the way along there and comes back outside. Right, so the pipe that comes out of the old animal stables area, that's this one. That connects to a, another plastic water pipe. Uh, this one goes into the ground, underneath the ground here. Don't know where exactly because this was all done before by the previous owners. Then it goes into the wall, about the inline here, all the way up to the attic. Okay, th that's the automatic pipeway. Now I'll show the manual pipeway. So the automatic tap, the uh, manual tap is over there. That you have to close the automatic tap for the water to go via the manual version. That comes up here. It's very hard to see, but there's some roof tiles here covering the pipe. Here. That goes underneath this part of the road. Next to this stone pillar with the light. It's a solar light. And it goes underneath the ground here. Uh, it's in between the plants. Over here, can, oops, see the plastic black pipe? That's the manual water pipe. And it goes underneath here. We did that. We, so there's a, a thicker pipe where the other pipe can go through. So should it need to be replaced, it's easy just to put it out. It goes underneath here. Again, underneath here, there used to be a door over here, but uh, we've uh, removed the door and closed it in. There's right underneath here, again underneath the front door part, in between the plants, and it goes over there, you can see it, and it snakes its way up and into the attic space next to the overflow pipe and there's a window up there okay now we'll go inside into the attic and show how it works